Hey guys, it's Tressa. I know I have talked about garlic with you and I've talked about this um, honey garlic for men, but I haven't done just a video on this. So I wanted to share this with you. I have not burped this um, since yesterday. I don't know if you heard that little sizzly sound. So this has been fermenting for about, can you see that? It's hard to see in there, but if you can look up closely, I'll have to take a picture later and share it on social. Um, it is really bubbly and the garlic is starting to sink. It's been almost a month. The honey is getting more liquid and when you open it, it smells amazing. And um, I just wanted to do a little video to just tell you about the process of what I did. It's actually a really simple thing. You definitely want to use local raw honey. You don't want to get honey at the grocery store. You really want to get local honey because it's much better quality. And local honey is going to be better for your immune system because the local bees um, are pollinating the local um, plants. And so it's um, much better for allergies and your immune system to keep it strong. So you want local honey and fresh garlic. I had gotten five pounds of garlic from Azure Standard. So what I did was... I used a whole bunch of that. I want to say there's maybe three or four heads in here and a good sized jar of honey, probably like a pint or more. Um, and I went with a bigger jar because I just wasn't sure what was going to happen. And the, the in between, the smaller size that I had that was right to the top and I wanted to give it a little space. So I went with a little bit bigger jar. You don't have to shake it up or stir it around or anything. You can, all you really have to do is peel the clothes and that's all I did and they are starting to break down. You can smash them a little bit if you want and that might speed the process up a little bit. What happens is the honey starts to break down and the, the garlic and honey together start to ferment. And so it starts to break down the garlic and the um, allicin in the garlic starts to be released. Um, and that's the same thing. Like if you smash garlic, it starts to release it. So any sort of like breaking the seal of the garlic clove is going to release that and get it going. So, but I just want to remind you, if you do this, it's really important because when it's fermenting, gases build up in the jar. So you want to make sure that ev that you put the lid on and you want the lid to be on tight enough. I got a little honey on me. Tight enough so that, um, but not too tight. So usually what I do is I, I seal it tight and then I go back like half a turn or quarter turn. And even with that, the um, top of, is tight enough and the fermenting kind of tightens it up. So every day, at, once a day, you just have to do it once a day. If you forget a day, it's okay. You just don't want to go like a whole week. Um, every, you know, if you did it every other day, that would be fine. Keep it in a cool, dark place, not the refrigerator. I have it on a shelf that's in a corner that's pretty dark and there's some boxes happen to be piled in front of it right now. So it's perfect. You could put it in a cabinet. Um, you just don't want it in a cabinet like next to your oven. That's going to be really hot. Um, so cool, dark place and just make sure to break that seal every day so that the, you let the gases out and that's called burping the jar. You don't, like I said, you, you can stir it around a little if you want to, but you don't have to. It just needs to sit and you want it to sit for a good 28 days. I'm just about there. Um, and that's when you're gonna really start to get the benefits of the honey and garlic together. Taking a spoonful of the honey every day to help your immune system is awesome. You can also use it in cooking and you can add to it. You can add more honey, you can add more garlic as you go along. So, um, and people keep this for months and years, um, not refrigerated, just in that cool dark place and you're good to go. So um, don't forget to burp it make sure that you, you know, break that seal. You wouldn't want it to explode all over your kitchen with the um, gases building up in there from the fermenting. And um, I'm gonna try one more time to see if I can show you what's happening in there. I'm actually gonna bring the camera around and 
bring it in. Let's see, there we go. Can you see that? If you look real close, you can see all the bubbles. And if you follow me on Instagram, live well with Tressa, I will post uh, some better pictures of it too. Because the um, it's really cool to see how the bubbles are forming and it's really doing its thing. So it's very simple, very, very good for you. I'm super excited that I have this going into winter up here in New Hampshire because it's getting cold. And um, not that I'm worried about germs, that's not it, but I want to keep my immune system strong. If it's cold and dark and you know, we we're out in the snow dig shoveling or whatever, I just want to keep my immune system strong and that's going to do that. So I will start using this now. Um, over the course of the next couple weeks in cooking and I will make sure that I'm taking a spoonful or putting a spoonful into like something that I'm eating every single day. I hope that um, you um, find this helpful and if you have any questions post them below and if you want to follow me on Instagram at live well with Tressa I'd love to have you follow me over there and God bless you. Have a wonderful day.